All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right and staying solid in these times that we're in. I hope that your relationship with the Most High is getting better. I pray that your life is improving daily, and I pray that you're improving in all areas of your life. Now, today's message, I just want to read a church note from Jen DeLeon titled, Trusting Beyond Knowing. And the sum of this church note is basically talking about um, really walking by faith and staying hopeful and not getting too caught up with the details, with waiting on the Lord and trying to see every single detail, you know, and seeing everything through. It's all about having that great faith and just trusting in the most high and not leaning on your own understanding. You know, this is a great church note. And I just wanted to um, just read it to y'all. Hopefully it could help y'all, encourage y'all and just go from there. So here we go. As much as you wish you could know everything or think you can, you can't. Stop trying to know everything. Trusting beyond knowing. It's one thing to know and it's another to trust. Blessed are they who have not seen, yet they still believe. Have you ever gotten into something where you don't know how the story is going to end and you have this feeling over your head that it's not going to have a happy ending? The real test of dis- the real test of discipleship is not when they're performing miracles, but go through the valley of the shadow of death. Okay. Let's see. I'm not impressed with people who want to climb with me to a mountain. I'm impressed with people who want to go to the valley. God is not making this up as he goes. God has not forgotten you. He will tie you up until the time is right. I don't care how many people go ahead of you. When it's your time, it's your time. When God go, when God gets ready to pull you, he will pull you out. He knows exactly where you are. He knows exactly what you got tied up and to tie as much as God as the calling. And when God gets ready to loose you and let you go, no devil in hell can hold you back. All that stuff you've doing you all the stuff that you're doing trying to explain to god your situation as if you need to educate him is a waste of spit and wind god knows exactly where you are and if you're going to praise him when you're loose you've got to praise him when you're tied up the rope isn't holding me my divine purpose is and when it's time for me and the stage is set hell can't make a rope that can hold you back i'm not worried about you putting your foot on me because he will break your foot because you can hold me down If he wants me up, you're not strong enough to hold me down. God is thinking about you. Expectations can, expectations control disappointment. I can't control what you do to me, but I can't control what I expect from you. Once I find out what you're capable of doing, I lower my expectations to your capabilities so I can't get shot by your behavior because I can't control what you do, but I can't control what I expect because to the, to the agreement that I control, what I expect. I monitor my disappointment. Disappointment is an end result of lofty expectations. What have you given up that you fed and nurtured and you're willing to give it up so God can use it? There is no success without sacrifice. Just because you aren't the one who paid it doesn't mean that somebody didn't pay it. You get to sit in someone else's sacrifice. Just because you didn't pay it doesn't mean it didn't get paid for. Just because you didn't buy the milk in the refrigerator and you left it out on the counter for it to go bad doesn't mean mom or dad didn't pay for the gallon of milk that you chose to waste. You can waste it until you start paying for it. When you start paying for it, I bet you'll put it back in the refrigerator. My name will open up doors to access the people's resources. That's when you got power. You ain't got power when you have muscles. You got power when you can put your name on something and it opens up. Power is when your name has enough weight that all they have to do is go in your name and doors open up because you said it. Get the power and integrity behind your name and you don't have to walk around wearing Briani. What you're wearing? Me. God very seldom gives details about process because if he gave you details about the process, then you'll give up on the promise. He gives you a vision of the promise and then he throws you into the process. Lord, I didn't know it was going to take all this. I wanted a good marriage, but I didn't expect to have to shut up. I want a wife, but I didn't want to be understanding and listening about people. I don't know. You want a husband, but you don't want to wash drawers. Living life together, but having two completely different experiences. We live in the same house, but we live two different experiences. We go to the same events, but we're but when we're going home, it's like we're at two different events. 
Just because we have the same experience doesn't mean we have the same expectation. Too much power totally corrupts many things. I don't want you if it means losing me. Prisoners of hope. God is going to give you double for the trouble. Your next miracle is within your reach. Stop looking at someone else's house for your miracle. Your next miracle is in your house. It's in your head. It's in your thoughts. It's within your reach. Everybody has a side that contradicts the other side, but you can't kill the other side, but you can't control the other side. Look at how much God carried out your life. Things you have guilt about, things you have heard, you have had turmoil about. If God carried it away, why are you still carrying it? You can't curse what God has blessed. I am blessed. You can add to it, but you can't take from it. When was the last time you gave something that cost you something so Jesus could sit on that coat? God will bring your life full circle. God said, I'm going to do a new thing in your life and turn it all around again. If you don't invest in the kingdom, how dare you ask the kingdom to invest in you? If you're not willing to give something that costs you something that you sweated it for, that took you months to make, that you had to be fitted for, that was made for you, but you gave it up to him. It's not sacrifice when you buy me something. It's sacrifice when you give me something you wanted. Whenever you see Jesus, you put things in their proper perspective. The loudest folks in the church do the least giving. Stop crying over who threw you away because you didn't lose nothing in the first place. The only reason they're mad at you is because they can't get out of you what they want to get out of you. And then you sit up crying thinking you lost something you never had. You never had them in the first place. You're being delivered from people. Trust me when you don't know how things are going to turn out. To trust me before knowing, to trust me when I make a U-turn, to trust me when I had something in mind different from what you had in mind, to trust me when you thought I was going to do something one way and I did it another way, to trust me when you understand that you think of earthly kingdoms and my kingdom is not of this world and sometimes I have to disappoint you to elevate you. If I break your heart, trust me. If I let you down, trust me. You got a bigger enemy than what you see. And while you're trying to get me to deal with somebody that I know is going to be overthrown in a few years anyway, I'm going after your real enemy. You cannot have faith based on knowing. To all people who have to know everything, you are counseling out a chance to walk with God. To walk with God is to be cool with uncertainty. Don't nobody know but God. You look at all the evidence to make a decision, but we don't know. It's okay to not know. Stop trying to know everything. The reason they were disappointed is because they expected something that was not in God's plan. What have you expected that is not in God's plan? And you've got the nerve to tell God that he let you down like it's his job to fulfill you. God doesn't work for you. You work for God. It is not his job to fulfill your desires. You have carried that boss thing too far. You've run into the real boss now. God says he's not going to let you know, so stop asking him to make you know. He requires of you that you trust beyond knowing. You'll know it when you see it. That's how you live your life. You want to know, you can't know. You have to follow on to know. I'll know it when I see it, and I'll trust beyond knowing. God's word to your warriors, it will be there when you get there. You don't know what he has in store for you. Trust beyond knowing because you don't know what's coming up on the other side of that hill. Blessed are they who have not seen, and yet they believe. So there you have it. That's the little church note right there, based on trusting the Lord instead of knowing every single detail and having that real faith and patience and long-suffering as well. You know, long-suffering is part of the fruits of the Spirit, and so is uh, patience and joy. And we have to have these things through every circumstance, even though it can be very challenging at times. We still have to stay strong for the Lord. And not lean on our own understanding and trust him and know that he got us no matter what. So there, that's, that's the church note. And what I want to do is remind you all how great the most high and his son is as we close out. Hallelujah. He is the Adam, the advocate, the almighty, the alpha and omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, 
the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, the Christ, Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, faithful witness, first and first and last, first begotten, first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the the head of the church, the hero of all things, the high priest, the holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, the king of is the king of Israel, the king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh ben Yahweh, Ahaya Yeshaya, Yeshua, Barakatha, Shalom, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to Passover lamb, power of God, precious cornerstone, prince of kings, prince of life, prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the build is rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, and the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So there y'all have it. Um, trust in the Lord. All right. Walk by faith and not by sight. All right. Don't get so caught with wanting to know things so bad. Just keep on having that faith and trust in him no matter what. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life for the Lord. I pray that your life improves daily. I pray that you get stronger and more wiser. And I pray that you get more open doors from now on. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.